Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Anna Brand here with the Anna Brand Baby Show. This is episode four, Alex, five? Four. Four, where I committed to being live every month for a year. Big commitment. Um, my client brought us cookies, so those of you who follow me, it's like keto day one again. Although, no, I've been really good. So I've done like four days now. I did really good this week since we came back from New York. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I did four days. Uh, mm, Are you questioning well, my keto? We did have Starbucks. Oh, okay. Day one again, I guess. Again. <laughs> I've been doing day one keto for about a month. Getting there. I have <laughs> shed a little of my winter weight. Working on it, working on it. Okay, so... Uh, a couple of housekeeping notes. We have a beautiful baby boy. The client that I had this morning was two weeks and nine pounds and perfect. Family of five, three children. I've done all of their newborns. I did the entire session in an hour and a half. I don't even know. He was so good. I don't even know what to tell you. So we're hoping that we have good baby mojo in this room today. This little guy came to me as a client day seven tiniest little creature beautiful had a wonderful session and then when we were all done mommy had mentioned she wanted froggy and we were kind of done so i was like come back i'll do froggy and hey well let's just go live on youtube and do some wrapping so here we are so he's seven days nine days he's perfect i know you think all my clients babies are perfect and most of them are some are not but it's okay it's okay i'm not perfect so we work with it uh, what does that long paragraph say, Alex? I can't read that. From Rose Byers. Hi, Anna. From Memphis again. We've been blessed to be able to be on for each live. Had Yay. my first, mm, I don't know what that is, N-I-L-M-V-T-S session. Oh, yes. Now I lay me down to sleep. Oh. Can they hear Ooh. you right now? Mm. Yeah, they should okay. hear me. Okay. And session this a.m. So this came at the perfect time for me. Thank you for all you do for us. Aww. Well, thank you for doing Now You Lay yeah, Me Down to tough. Sleep. That is something I cannot do. I've done it one time only for a very special client of mine by request, and I haven't done it since. So those of you who do Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep, you are angels, and we appreciate you as well. Uh, this June will be 24 years in the industry. I can't even believe that I've been photographing newborns that long. It has been a journey and a half. Uh, Ava just got accepted for a full scholarship to Chapman University. Uh, for creative writing with a minor in film. All four years paid for. Super excited and couldn't be more prouder of Ava. Olivia just got accepted to UC Santa Barbara and is doing a transfer for the fall. And my son's girlfriend, Rania, just got accepted to UCLA. So to all of the students that are going out to college, we salute you. I know that all of the girls in my home have worked super hard studying night and day, and I could not be a prouder mama at this moment. Um, and those of you who follow me and know a little bit about me, uh, we will be starting podcasts again. I apologize that we have not had podcasts in a while, um, but you know it's been it's been rough. Uh, many of you know my father passed away uh, last month. We laid him down to rest next to my mother. Very difficult. Uh, my mom passed away a year ago on my son's 21st birthday. So it's been a very, very rough year and a half um, losing both of my parents. We know they're watching from above. I say this without hopefully quivering, um, but I know that they're watching us and we just have two more angels up above. What I do every day is a job that I love. It's been 24 years of working with newborns and raising three children of my own. It has not been easy. Whether you're starting this journey day one, day five, year 10, uh, I believe that you do the work that you love and the rest just comes. Um, some babies cry, some babies don't. You know, when moms and dads come to me, they've just had babies, they're at such an emotional time. Some women have postpartum, dads aren't sleeping, some babies are colicky. You know, it is one of the most sensitive times in a human being's life. You can't even control the emotions that are going on. Add any kind of loss to that. The loss of a sibling, the loss of a baby, you know, rainbow babies, the loss of a previous sibling, the loss of a parent. It just rocks you to your core. I, I think that, you know, prior to my mom passing, I had never been to a funeral, believe it or not. So I remember when I was at my mom's funeral, my siblings, I'm the youngest of five, 
I didn't know what to do. And so they were like, oh my gosh, Anna, you've never done any of this before, have you? And I was like, no. And so I remember my grandpa passed away. I was super close to him. I was away and so I was not at his funeral. And so I remember my siblings kind of taking me by the hand and just being so gracious and kind to me and, and being there for me and showing me kind of all of that has to be done with both of my parents. And I think that what we're lacking a lot of in this social world is just community and family. You need your family, you need community, you need photographers around you. You need people that not only support you as a human being, but support your craft. Because without that support, it's super hard to get through the day. I'm very fortunate to have an amazing support staff, amazing family. My children are beyond what I could have ever imagined. Um, as many of you know, Alex has been by my side 11 years. Uh, we've been through hell and back together, and I'm so grateful for who he is and being the man behind the camera. Amber is in from Texas. Amber is part of a new journey that I've embarked on, which is the Baby Associates. Um, a lot of people get overwhelmed with all of the projects that I'm working on, but I think part of it is to just pass my legacy on. I'm not getting any younger. I know I have good moisturizer, but there's a lot of things I need to do to pass some things on and to create my own legacy. I just completed the first official round of trainers. We had Margarita Rentas of Two Creative Souls, who was my first official trainer who now is training in Puerto Rico and Florida in Spanish and English. She was my first certified trainer and I'm very proud of the work that she's doing. She's also an ultimate vendor and uh, runs a business to Creative Souls. You can check her out in the ultimate vendors. I made a link. She has gorgeous angel wings and I think she's having a sale in the Facebook group, so check that out. So we were in New York this past week and I trained eight more photographers. I was very, very, very tough on them. Um, because they are going to be responsible for not only training in the U.S. and abroad. I take my training very seriously. If I'm going to put my name behind a trainer or an associate, or I'm going to certify a photographer, that means that I have spent time with them. I understand their best practices, their business practices. We have a certification program where we run through, you know, how are they shooting? What are their policies? What is their insurance? Show me a video of you shooting peer testimonials, client testimonials, because if I'm gonna certify a photographer, I wanna make sure that they're doing it in a safe way and they're following best practices. That's our certification program. You can go to annabrandeducation.com. At the top, there's a link to those who have already completed the certification program, and there's many that are still involved in the program working on their certification. Then we have our trainers. The trainers must also be certified and they have to attend a two day very intense in person workshop in which I make sure that they are capable of training proper baby safety and protocols. They have finished their training and now they need to submit a few more things before I can put blessings on their future trainings. Last but not least is we have our baby associate program. If you go to bookababyshoot.com and you're looking for newborn photographers in New York, California and many states in between. We We've now put all of the locations in which we have associate photographers on the website and you can see many of their beautiful headshots. These photographers have all been participating in in-person trainings with yours truly. They also have to shadow me two times. Amber is here for her shadow. She's opening up a studio in Texas. Our associate photographers will be able to book newborns with our associate photographers. What's great about that is we're making sure that they're trained as well in proper lighting and safety and wrapping techniques. And they're working along by my side and I stand behind every single one of my associate photographers and I'm so proud that they are part of the team. So Amber will be assisting me today. We have this beautiful, gorgeous baby, Kai. I'm gonna start wrapping. What I'm gonna do today is just run you through a few sets. I believe that with workflow, do what works first. Years ago, I would start and do all the difficult things. The baby would come in, oh, let me do froggy and let me do taco and all buckets. And baby's miserable for that first hour. And parents are sitting there questioning how much they paid you. And they're looking at you like, she's supposed to be amazing. I don't know how amazing she is. And so, and then you don't have an assistant and you just look stupid. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta change now. I've had assistants for a long time, but I have to change my workflow. So I changed it. I changed everything about my workflow myself. Not because anyone told me to, but because I felt like my job when a client comes in with a newborn baby, I want them to feel comfortable. 
I'm not a cheap photographer and they're spending good money coming to me. So how can I make them feel very comfortable and relaxed knowing they're in good hands? Well, if you start off with a difficult pose and baby starts fussing and crying, they're going to question the money they've spent and they're going to question who you are. It doesn't matter what your name is. So I said, what if I focus on core poses that are simple, baby on the back because he just ate, that are comfortable, he's gonna be all wrapped up in a warm environment and get the trust of the baby, get the parents to just relax. We encourage them to have breakfast, have coffee, relax, and then get to work. The first hour of most of my sessions are these kinds of poses. Simple, could be in props, in beanbag, wrapped, very comfortable, the baby can go to the bathroom because they're wearing their diaper and they're very relaxed. Then what happens is the second hour when the baby's in that beautiful sleep, I can do the harder poses. This morning's baby was a nine pounder, mom wanted a froggy pose and some naked poses. So I spent that first hour doing wrapped, we did siblings, we did family, we did everything we needed to do, that baby didn't make a sound. Then when I unwrapped him and had him naked, he did froggy and he did it very, very, very well. Towards the end, he started crying, he was ready to eat, we were done. That's what you want, you want a good session. Now, yesterday's baby, mm, not so much. He was a fighter, he pretty much cried the whole session. But we got it because I wrapped him and we got really good poses and parents were very happy and very grateful. You need to know how to wrap and you need to know how to wrap well. You need to do everything safe, make sure to not overheat a baby, but make sure it's not too cold at the same time. I'm gonna just get to work. We'll probably be working for probably less than an hour, maybe be 40 minutes we'll see how it goes I'm gonna just work pretty quickly any questions feel free to ask I can't really see the screen or see your name so just ask Alex he'll call out the questions and we'll go from there thank you for joining us make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you're notified of future things and last but not least a huge 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 thank you to Profoto they sent Cliff out to support our summit in New York last week along with B&H. I can't speak more highly of Cliff. He's probably one of my favorite people I've ever met in my life. Thank you, Cliff, for reaching out to our team and working long days. Thank you, Profoto, for sponsoring me and my team and believing in the work that we're doing. I appreciate you. Okay, Alex, I'm gonna get some socks on. Uh, we'll put white noise on very low amber. Uh, settings are going to be 200, 200, 2.8, 5,500 white balance, pretty much like I always do. Canon 5D Mark IV, 24 to 70, USM2. Okay, I'm just going to put socks on. Okay, this is baby Kai. Look at him. He is a rainbow baby. We did some rainbows the other day, huh, Kai? Isn't he yummy? Oh, he's like perfect. I see we're scratching ourselves. I see we've discovered our face and our nails. Oh. <laughs> that's cute, right? Mm -hmm. It's just so tiny. Compared to this baby, this morning's baby. <laughs> this morning's baby's twice the size of him. Okay. All right, so here we go. My strategy is, 
you know, I always ask parents what they like when they come. This, I'm just kind of making it up because they've had their session already. Um, <clears throat> but I always ask parents, show me images of inspiration. What is it that you like? What do you want to achieve out of the session? And I'll try to make it happen. I don't set anything up ahead of time. I just pulled some things out for today. But normally with a client session, they come into a clean studio. And I don't set anything up ahead of time. Now, some of my friends tell me they have to hiccups. They have to set things up ahead of time. That's fine. If you're someone that has to set things up ahead of time, then do it. Um, for me, I like a clean studio. I like a clean palette. And I like to just make it up as we go along. And, of course, asking the parents what they would like. I like to double wrap. I'm going to start out, even though he's asleep, I'm going to start out with a swaddle with the arms down. Amber, after this, so I'm going to do a very quick set here. We're going to go there. Mm -hmm. I brought out two cream fabrics and then the green, so the green is on top. That wrap is not a sack wrap, so I'll show his hands and toes in that wrap. Okay. So we're gonna do a very quick kind of warm-up set. Usually with a warm-up set, it's just, I wanna swaddle him with his arms down to the side. A lot of photographers wrap with the hands on the chest. I don't really know why, honestly. They tell me it's because they can pull the hands out. To me, it seems lumpy and bumpy. And so to me, I like to wrap with the arms down to the side because then everything isn't lumpy and bumpy. Now, he still has his umbilical cord on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna cover it only for this shoot. Now, doctors tell you not to cover the cord so it dries up. With the shoot, when it's still on, quite often I will cover it so it doesn't pull on the wrap because I don't want to pull it off. And so I'll cover it up only during the session. And then after the session, when parents change the diaper, they'll expose it again so that it dries and heals properly. So really pay attention to that umbilical cord. If it looks like, oh, it's gonna come off soon, or it, it just to me, it's better just briefly cover it with the diaper. That way it doesn't catch onto the wraps and pull off, okay? Now, I will, I always make sure they have a nice soft tummy. He has a very soft tummy, no gas there. So we're gonna put arms down to the side. I always wrap across, shoulder down and around like a figure eight. So we're gonna just tuck in those arms. And I'm gonna come down here. I like to lift from the body rather than the head. I like to leave the head alone as much as humanly possible. Now, when I curl the feet up, you never want to force it. If they're, you know, fighting you, just gently, I usually do a little bicycle. And when they're this little, I usually have the feet chest line because you're going to get a nice round wrap. Depending upon how long the wrap is, I could pull the wrap up from the bottom. I'm gonna go here, here, around the head, shoulder, hip, okay? And that keeps him nice and content. Now, we're not hurting him in any way. He's not even making a peep. He was curled up in mom's, mom's belly in the womb. So babies really do love this. Now, a lot of parents will say, oh, I should wrap this way at home. We don't suggest wrapping this way at home. At home, do your normal swaddles that you're taught in mamas or wherever you're taught or grandmothers. But these types of wraps and what we're doing are only for photo sessions only. So just a little disclaimer out there for the moms and dads watching. You can do this at home for a photo session, but then just make sure that you're following proper baby swaddling techniques. You're watching this on YouTube, so I'm sure there's a million resources for you. And I have a sack wrap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a sack wrap around this. I'm gonna just tuck in that piece. Now, the sack wrap is something that I created that's in my store. You can go to shopannabrandt.com and the sack wraps, the reason why I love them, it took me, believe it or not, like almost a year to perfect the sizing because I kept trying them and they were the size was never right. And so I love these because I can pretty much get them up till about two months in here. And they're super stretchy. We have them for boys and girls. What's great is if I'm double wrapping, I take the wrapped baby and then I put him inside the sack. 
and then you just wrap around. And so if you have a fighter or somebody that likes to bust out of the wraps, the sack wraps are really great because they'll keep them in. I'm obsessed with them. I have them in every color, every style. We just loaded the store yesterday again with all new sack wraps. We can never keep them in stock because they sell out really fast. Someone just the other day in my group was like, Anna, I need every sack wrap you have. And we had sold out, but we just, one of our seamstresses was super fast and made a bunch more. So definitely check out shopannabrand.com because they have, we have a lot of good sack wraps. What's great about this is we could wrap over this to another wrap. We could take it off and then he has the wrap under here. Actually, Amber, you know what I might do? No. Well, I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking in my mind with that bed, I would just take off an outer wrap and wrap them in there, but I'll, I'll do a different side wrap for that. That's fine. Make more room. And you can do whatever you want. Sometimes I'll do bows for the little girls. Not that you can't have a bow with a boy. I will say that the other day I had my first was it a baby boy come in with pierced ears? No, he was my baby plan. He came in for his six month session and his ears were pierced and they said they pierced baby boys both ears. Is that fascinating? Yes. Uh, that's, that's fascinating. Do members get a discount? I think I'll have <laughs> Of course. So I'll turn this off for because he's good for a moment. Uh, yes, member, if you're a member of AnnaBrandt.com, no, no, no. If you're a member of members.AnnaBrandt, well, AnnaBrandt members app. <laughs> Wow, even I can't remember. That's why they're all confused. Oh, I know why they're all confused. <laughs> Anna Brand member app. Is it Anna Brand member app.com? Alex, you should look it up. If you're a member of that, yes, you get a 20% discount. And I actually put the code in the app today. You get it. And VIPs get a 25% discount. So 20 or 25, depends if you're a VIP or not. Now, I know you all think you're VIPs. <laughs> Because that's what people go. People go, I'm definitely a VIP. <laughs> and then the ones that are VIPs are like, you didn't pay the money. You're not definitely a VIP. AnnaBrandMemberApp.com. AnnaBrandMemberApp.com. Members. AnnaBrandMembers. Oh, Anna members. No? No? Uh, AnnaBrand. Uh, Maybe we type it in. Maybe uh, we type it in. Uh, what would you like to tell us? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that thing we were talking about this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amber, Amber wants to do a, a video on baby's commentary, what they're really thinking and telling mm -hmm. us. And we can't decide if it's PG rated. <laughs> so yeah, Anna Brandt member app. Anna Brandt member app dot com. Because right. they're probably telling us off all the time. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You know, for so many times I was going to do like a baby cartoon <laughs> and put like bubbles in the air of what they were truly you thinking. Should. I did think about that at one point. <laughs> How can you not? I know. Because they're they're probably like really smart, intelligent human beings. Well, we know they are, but they're probably like really telling us something. He looked like he was gonna burp or spit up and this morning's baby vomited projectile twice on me. I did wash myself off. So I was just keeping him vertical to make sure that he wasn't spitting anything up. If you see any kind of inflection or movement or you feel like they're gonna spit up or burp, get him vertical right away. I'm not holding his neck, I'm kind of holding right here. And you just wanna keep him vertical. It's one of the reasons why I use the yoga ball. When you're on the yoga ball, you always hold the head so the head is not bouncing, only their body is bouncing. And just do gentle movements and make sure to get everything out. This morning I did this to the baby, but not long enough. And then actually, he, he, like I said, he projected all twice. So they get out what they need to get out. So underneath here, this is the Pottery Barn bean bag. People always ask me about this bean bag. It's in the teen department. Faux fur cover, F-A-U-X, fur cover. It's actually a medium cover, large insert, because they come out separately. And by doing that, you can take this cover off and wash it. This bowl from my store, shopannabrand.com, my posing system also from my store. This bean is what I use 99% of the time. It's pretty much the only thing I'll use. I do have 11 pieces in my set, but this is my main one that I use. Fur is Mimosa House, Curly Layer, Ababa Baby, hat and pillow also from Mimosa House. And you can pretty much see all my favorite vendors 
on the Ultimate Vendors page, if you go to annabrantlive.com, where we have the schedule for the year of our, all of our streams, as well as the recordings of our previous streams, there's a link to all of our vendors. Many of our vendors will provide discounts and offers to our photographers in our group. We have over 30,000 photographers in our group. In Facebook, it's just a free group you can join, talk with other people. The light, I'm not sure it's high enough, but I'll take a quick test and we'll see. Shooting straight down in his face to help if the light was on. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> your, your computer froze. Oh. I was looking at that. Sorry. Oh, it froze? Yeah. Is it good now? Absolutely. Uh, push the white button and hold it. Ah, there we go. Good. Does it need to go up? Uh, no, it's good, but he gave me a little smirk. What number is on that light? Three nine. Uh, let's bring it up just a tiny bit in height. Oh, in height. And then you may need to go up in power. So a little bit in height right there. And then let's go up in power. Let's go to 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. Oh, that's just beautiful. I'm going to go up two more. Does that say 4-2 now? It says 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. Uh, bring it down to four two. And then we're done. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning down his face going down. I think that's the key. A lot of people tend to go up the nose because they're this way. If we go this way, that's up the nose. So you shoot straight down right over the face and almost tilt down the face. And that way you're not going up the nose. You're just going down. I see this bright curl. So I'm going to do that one more time. And then I try to go pretty quickly. I do the over. Look at the detail, see if there's anything I need to fix. Shoot it again. And I will say that on Anna Brandt Live now, we've put the images with the video. So if you've missed previous videos, you'll see a recording of the video as well as the edited images from previous lives. Whenever I do these lives, moms and dads get free images of whatever I shot, so it's kind of fun for them. A little extra bonus for their session. Fixing just those tiny details. And then I'm just gonna change the hat. You're so cute. I can't even handle how cute you are. I know you wanna smile again. And then I'm gonna just switch hats because I really like this little pom pom hat. Are you going to keep him? <laughs> He's so cute. I feel like hands down the best job in the universe. Is he so cute or what? I can't even stand it. I just don't even want to touch you. See, this is where we overshoot because we just can't want to keep shooting because he's so perfect. But we cannot. Oh, he like smirked. Do Are you going to smile? Oh. Do it. Are you going to smile? Let me see. Oh, he's right there. Are you going to give us a smile? You know you want to. going to the bathroom in there too. Are you gonna give me a smile? What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna pick you up now. Last chance. There was one time where Alex and I were doing a shoot and we're like, let's pretend we're walking away because they always smile when we walk away. And we went like this and pretended like we walked away and it worked. Yeah, the baby smiled. That's awesome. Yeah, because we know like the minute you walk away, they're like, hey, hey. Oh, you got a little smirk. 
And uh, what are your settings? 200, 200, 2.8. Calvin color temperature, 5,500. Okay, so Amber, yes. we're gonna get, we just slide this whole thing away. Oh. Yep, and we'll just switch bean bags. 90% of the time, I'm 200, 200, 2.8. Now, I'm gonna, actually, we're gonna need a heat for this because I'm okay. gonna unwrap him and try to show his hands and toes. Now, normally, if I'm in session, I would probably do two or three more wrapped sets. I would um, bring other colors, like yesterday's baby was super fussy, so I knew if I unwrapped this baby, he was gonna freak out, I just knew that. And mom and dad had a brown set that they liked and they had a couple of other sets. Oh, Amber, yeah. Um, so, uh, what I did was I had those other sets ready and then I just went through four or five different wrap sets because they wanted the dream catcher and I knew I had to unwrap them for the dream catcher. So if you have a super fussy baby, uh, my advice is to get at least three to four different wrap sets and just go, go, go. You can do wrapped in bed, wrapped in bucket, dream catcher, parents, sibling, floor, felted layers, flowers, whatever. And then, um, and then when they're super asleep, then unwrap them. But he's pretty good, he's a good baby. So I'm gonna take my chances. And I'm gonna show you a wrap with the hands and toes sticking out. So this wrap, I'm gonna start in the middle, okay? And we'll give him a little hat, it's another little green. I am gonna put heat on him because he's double wrapped. So if you go from double wrap to nothing, he's gonna feel it. He's gonna feel the temperature change. So my advice is when you're going from two wraps to nothing, or you're going naked, there's a definite temperature change, you feel it. So you want it as minimal as possible. So right now this heater says 70 degrees. I'm in a super old building and we don't have heat in our building. So the only heat we have is by heaters. So I do not use heating pads because I don't believe in putting any heating element on a baby because you can't regulate that, especially if their skin is tissue thin. So do not use heating blankets or anything electric near a baby. Just surround the air and heat up the air. Or if you have a heated building, put the air up. You don't wanna make it too, too hot. Say 75 should be fine. It's 71 right now. Normally, I have an outfit underneath, so those of you who know me know that I start with an outfit on first, and then I wrap, and that way when I'm done and I unwrap, he has the outfit on. But today, we're just doing some different wrap sets and transitions, and I didn't do all of that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this wrap in the middle, okay? My daughter has prom today. And I was planning on catching an afternoon flight to Chicago, but then I, I always get the, mom, don't forget I have prom and you're taking photos. No problem, red eye it is. So I'll be sleeping on the plane tonight because I have to go shoot her prom photos. I feel like every time there's a dance, there's a flight to catch. But I'll be back in my studio Tuesday morning for another newborn. use a laundry service, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie his feet. Okay, so here and here. And I'll just do a little tiny knot. I can't believe it. So for years, I would go home with laundry every day Go in my house, straight to the laundry room, do the studio laundry, do the house laundry, bring it back in, fold, repeat. After 23 years of doing laundry, I said, I'm gonna bring a laundry service in. And I love Laundry Butler. They come in, they pick it up, and the next day, it's delivered, all folded, and ready. It's like the best money I've ever spent. I 
if I had to give up everything, I would give up everything but that. And it's higher than a lot under here. Like to me, I would rather have a laundry service than like Jimmy Choo shoes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm usually barefoot anyway. <laughs> I don't need Jimmy Choo's. Look at you. Okay, look at him. Stop it. Okay, I don't know what happened to my center. <laughs> no idea what happened, but I swear when I started it was in the center. So I'm not gonna redo it, we're just gonna fake it, but <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. I usually just like to twist, wrap around. There's one side. And this, since we have this little stub of a piece, bring it this way. all in now I'm thinking can you look in my pillows and that wardrobe is the pillows do we have I don't know if I have a different greenish pillow so what are y'all doing today Saturday what's happening out Mm, too light. What else do I have? What about a... Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Maybe that one. Are you editing? What are you doing? Just this. Oh. Well, let's try it. Let's see how it looks. Sometimes it looks different. Oh, what about... You don't want to use the same? Mm, no, I don't think I want to use the same. Okay, so we're going to have to change the light. So Amber, raise it up, yep. and it's gonna come back by his head. More? Um, that should be good. Let's try that. Oh my heavens! Now normally I crisscross this, so you do this way and this way. But since I don't know what happened <laughs> with my, I'm just gonna put it across and make it up. <laughs> the key with this wrap is keeping your hands and toes out. Well, let's go with again says we're on her first class and YouTube video. Good, good. Jeremy says hang out with your family. Aww. Just put the little one down for a nap. Oh, good. Cool. Oh, Jeremy, that's your <laughs> husband. She's like, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's down good. <laughs> He's down good, good. That was good. That's Dean editing and watching you. Heather, I'm creating a promo. Son just put a deposit for college down, and I'm dealing with a leaky roof. Ooh, oh, nice. fun. Fun. is it raining? Oh, my sister said it's raining in New York. It's raining, right? I think my sister, we have a family reunion this summer, and so my sister was saying she was home in the rain, having a reunion. Rachel, editing a spring session and prepping for the Chicago class tomorrow. Oh, yes. We have some models that came in for Chicago. I'll be contacting them. Oh, my heavens. Okay, very important with this is down that face, okay? Too bright, so let's take it down. Let's see. Okay, so little little on the dark side with the face. So hold on, Amber. Yep. I'm gonna bring him in a little bit more under here because that shadow is a little darker than I want and I may need to lift the light higher. So let's see. No, it's much better, but it's still kind of bright. So I'm just gonna take the light down. What's great about Profoto is you can change the light from the transmitter. So you don't have to go anywhere. And they're all wireless, right? Yes. Well, that's the best part. Yes. This is their wireless. Well, Eska says, yep, raining all weekend like we didn't have an outdoor sessions. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Did she have outdoor sessions? 
think she was I'm say assuming that. she's <laughs> oh. indicating that she did. <laughs> I feel like I want a lovey. Dad, can you pick a lovey if you go in that cabinet over there? The drawer will give him a Three lovey. Three of them. Three? Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's a lovey. Oh, first time dad. <laughs> Love it. I didn't know what they were, so he can't. You didn't that. either, Alex? No. They need like a dude's dictionary for babies. Why is there not a dude's dictionary for babies? I mean, well, growing up, I only ever heard like stuff that. Alex, you should write the dude's dictionary oh, you for babies. <laughs> you know it all. He knows everything. <laughs> the, the birth I story. I I'm, I'm, one day I'm going to make him rap. You haven't rapped yet? No, I'm good. <laughs> I think is I should. Small? It's as big as he is. I know. <laughs> I didn't pick it out. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. No, I like it because it shows how little he I know, is. He is so little. So, oh, oh, Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> Did that feel better? I didn't see that one coming at all. He spit up. Did not see that coming. We even bounced on the yoga ball. This is projectile day. Two for two. two, for two. <laughs> Okay, just side on the two. Nope, nope. <laughs> it's coming more like a no. Oh, you can get out. You can see. You can get out. No, I'm good, Jeremy. Thanks. Oh, no. Like Jeremy say. So you've got to get in there and rap, Alex. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is Amber's husband. He's got all. Oh, he's he's got, got all three. three. Yeah. Three kids. Awesome guy. Good dad. Yep. Hats off, hats off to the dads who are staying in it. It's not easy. And my pregnant client last night, she was saying she, her child's only a year and a half and she was having her second. And I was like, oh, two under two. She's like, I just want to, I just want to get it done. I'm already in it. Let's just get it done. <laughs> like, you might as well just stay in it. You feel better now? <laughs> No, I just need a wipe from my hands. Yep. I love babies that are grippy. If you find a baby that's super grippy and you can never relax their hands, give them a lovey. Because I feel like that's what, they're really happy. Okay, I don't know what happened to this wrap. <laughs> so see, even me and I've wrapped forever. What happened here? So, since I like his hands up there, I'm gonna tuck his feet in. And we'll just we'll just tuck him in the wrap. This is where you just make it up. And sometimes people will be like, oh I love that wrap. I'll be like, yeah, I just made that one up. Can't do it again. Can't do it again. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> That's happened where clients come in and they'll show me a wrap and oh, I'm no. like, I'll never do that again. I don't even know how I did it the first time. Oh, there we go. What I'll do is we'll do a little egg wrap after this when we get them in that bed. You're doing so well. <laughs> yeah, hold like one finger there. Mm -hmm. So those of you watching, what's your biggest struggle with babies? Like like if it like number one on the list, what drives you absolutely crazy? Like, what is it that you just can't fix? Uh, some things are so long. Yeah. It's gonna be a piano. Piano playing. No, I feel like... I think what I'm gonna do... We're gonna go back to the toes situation. his toes. He's fighting with me. Do you just make this? No, no, no. I'm going to wrap them and just do a quick toe shot. So this is kind of what I'll do sometimes when I'm in a session. And then I'll just be like, ooh, let me get the toes. While I'm here. Now, when I first started, I felt like I could only do toes if I was using a macro lens. But it's not true. 
So I'm on a 24 to 70. I'm going to move this back and go below the light. And you can still do toe shots with this lens. You don't have to switch to a micro. So what the idea too is, oh, you know what, Amber? I'm gonna make this better. So I'm gonna do the toe shot, but will you give me some fluff? Oh, there's that rainbow fluff. Oh, I just used it for his session. Did I leave it in the basket? It might still be in there, but uh, Alex, watch him for a second. I, I don't, I used it for his session two days ago. Oh, it's here. See, it's still in the basket. This was from his session. He was curled in here. I don't know why I didn't throw it away. But since he's a little rainbow baby, I'll just put his feet on the rainbow foot. I'll do this. Heather says, hoping you approve of my latest newborn with more shadows. Ooh. Did she get the new umbrella? Did it arrive? I think so. I basically moved into Heather's studio. <laughs> so she's in Port Chester. She also joined our baby team. She's finishing up her certification. So if you need a newborn, shoot and you're near Port Chester, New York, which is only by train. How far was it by? We took Durand Central. It was an hour from Grand Central in New York. Okay, so we took the train from Manhattan, and it was an hour. And then it was a glorious train ride. And then if you're Connecticut, I think that's what? Half hour? So Port Chester, she has a beautiful studio. All you have to do is show up. She's one of the nicest people on the planet. And I've been kicking her butt training-wise, and she's doing really good. Oops. Uh, Amber, can you go a little higher in that light? Yes. Get in those toes. Higher? Uh, I think that's it. Okay, there we go. So cute. Why are you so cute? Okay, so then my other idea is you take all that for wrapping. I know you love this guy. Are you gonna smile? Give me a little smile. We're gonna take this wrap and we're gonna curl him up a little bit. these ones because once they get past this stage you can never really do this again <laughs> and so if you can get these little curled up ones oh. wait Heather did they not get delivered she says oh sunny God. Kurt to b and H and am because Amazon messed up no and then Valeska no. followed by my lights and umbrella again on Monday Oh, no, for Monday? Yeah. They didn't send the right one? I'm not sure. Tell us the scoop. So basically, I'll tell you what happened. Heather had, what, a 55-inch, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, she had a 55-inch umbrella. The one I'm yeah. using is 65. And she's in a huge oh. space. She has a very large space. Well, what did we say? It was 1,000 square feet. Yeah. Can they see what I'm doing? You might want to go more over. lost. Me. The camera. The camera, Alex. And Valetka says, I won't forget the lights, I promise. <laughs> what happened? Move the camera over here. Oh. So, yeah, I, want you, I just want you to see what I'm doing. I'm kind of curling him up in my hands. Amber, we're going to tie a knot. Up here? Yep. 
He's looking at me like, what you doing there? What oh, you doing close there? Close to his body or farther? Yeah, a little close to, yeah, that's good. Okay. Maybe pull down a little bit more. Yep. Yep, good. Perfect. Okay. Yep, that's okay. good. How you do the legs or the hands, really up to you, but I like to just kind of curl him up. Are you looking at me? <laughs> We're keeping the diaper on. You can do a diaper on, diaper off. Maybe get him to hold his foot. I feel like, Amber, Yes. this could be tighter here. Okay. Let's try one more time. I'm going to just hold him in place. So anyway... The larger umbrella is going to give you a softer, a softer, what do I want to say? Softer shadows, yeah. So mine is 65. 85 is a little bit big. Oh, he has more spit up, more spit up. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't read through it. I know. So I like 65. That's what this is. If it's too small, like a 55, you're going to get harsh shadows. You want nice, wide, soft oh, light source. Again, I say over and over, light is subjective. So if you want a soft box, yeah. If you want harsher shadows, you're almost done. We're gonna do two more. And then and then it's just me and you. Look at that face. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see his face, Ellen? Yeah. He's like, oh, I got it all out of my system. I'm gonna wake up. Nope, nope, not. Ooh, what color are his eyes? Green or brown? Really? They look so green. Maybe it's because he's wearing green. <laughs> he's so, look at him. He's like drunk. All right, kitty. I wish you could go to Chicago with me. You could fit in my suitcase. All right, Amber, I think we have to do this again. Okay. Just because he's kind of a hot mess. <laughs> Let's do this one more time. All right, just try this. I'm gonna kind of curl him up. Mm -hmm. Maybe kind of get over the shoulder and curl here. <coughs> yep. And then do the top. Oh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? He's like, I'm too tired to pay attention to what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Tight? That's good. Much better. So I'm gonna just give him a minute to settle because he's you're okay. All right, I'm gonna give him a second. I feel like he has more. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna fall asleep in my hand. You going somewhere? You need more projector? I know. That's working on something. You done? You have more coming out? I'll give him a second. There we go. It's amazing to me how they can fall asleep just like this. It's kind of like when you see toddlers just fall asleep sitting up. On social, they'll always have those videos where the toddlers are just fall asleep in the middle of whatever they're doing. Eating spaghetti. Yeah, eating <laughs> spaghetti. They're like face down in the spaghetti. All three of my kids have done that. Really? Mm -hmm. We eat spaghetti a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Ava loves spaghetti. Oh my gosh, she loves it. I say, what do you want for dinner? She's All right, I think he's good. Okay. He's very docile. Oh, 
That's Kether. How far? How far is the airport from her studio? I don't know if she wants. She can hear you. Oh, Kether. How far is the airport from her studio? Fifteen minutes. Oh, oh yes, because I found a six like forty flight. And I was like, I'm gonna be. I hate having to come in on a red eye and then having to come into work the next day. Mm. All right, let's just bounce here for a second because you're a little out of sorts. <clears throat> Should we do this one more time? Yep. <laughs> okay, cutie, are you ready? And by one, you mean three. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Three more. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no. What time is it? Okay. We're going to do this and then finish with the bed. How do you need it? It'll be good because I think he'll go oh. again. You okay? You didn't feed him any of those cookies, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Mom brought us these cookies. It's just not okay. That's a lot of cookies. I know. <laughs> Are you going to eat them all? No, bring them up to the kids. <sighs> Evan will see those, my son will see those, and be like, oh. <laughs> my son loves when I bring home anything like that. Okay. Try this again. We just finished building a staircase. Why? For the studio. He wanted a staircase to storage. Since he has no budget to hire a contractor, he just made it himself. Good for him. So my brother runs, does, does, runs a construction business and is building his own house um, pretty much by himself with just like a neighbor or two helping from the bottom up. He hired like an electrician to do some of the things so when we were in New York he, my brother was like YouTube dude wow. <laughs> and it's like that's what I'm doing. Um, YouTube University. <laughs> he bought a couple of acres in New York, oh no I'm sorry New Hampshire. to build himself a house. Isn't that cool? If you can. That's going to be Evan. Mm. I've already warned his girlfriend. <laughs> Don't buy a new house. Buy a fixer-upper. Because my son loves to... You could go in a hotel room, and if he had his way, he'd redo the hotel room. He'd be like, we're just spending the night, dude. And he'll be like, the bed should be here, the TV should be here. Okay, so... clients was following us and saw a pull of Evan's building and he was like oh I want to support your son and he like gave him doors wow isn't that nice yeah okay is it tight enough uh let me curl him hold on so to do to get the right kind of grip I'm gonna curl him up there we go there you go and we're just kind of doing a nice little curl Because then after that, he should go to a good sleep, and then I can do foggy for his parents. Do you want to put it closer? Yeah, let's bring it over here. Do you want the heater closer to him? Yeah. You know what? If we put it up on an apple box, okay. there's a little okay. apple box around here somewhere. Um, there's a small apple box that we usually put the heater on. Oh, you're smiling. Of course you're smiling. Why would you be smiling? You gonna smile again? Okay, the light needs to be up by his head. I almost feel like I want to tie this to a branch. Let me shoot it real quick. Is that close enough to you? Uh, 
Oh, let me test it. Oh, he's smirking. He's smirking. You're killing me, dude. Amber, yes. is there a branch close by? Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna tie that. I feel like he's gonna smile, so I'm not moving. Yeah, if you do that, do what you're doing. Alex, can you help Amber real quick? Because I feel like we might have to so it's secure the branch. Just wrap that around the branch. Like. It's okay. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. It's okay. We'll fix it while he's like right here. Almost <gasps> smiles. Yeah. You're almost done, dude. You're doing so well. Shh, shh. Shh. Oh. He doesn't take a pacifier, does he? Oh, yeah, do you have it? I don't think he needs it, but I'll try. Good. Come on, Kai. Come on. Just one little smile. Come on. You're right there. Look how cute you are. You're so handsome. I'm your biggest fan. Come on. Come on. It's right there. Just a teeny one. Arms are gonna fall off. Come on, Kai. Come on. You're walking away. Anna. Come on. Oh, yeah, I'm You're walking, walking away. away. We're walking away. I'm leaving. We're walking. I'm putting the camera down. There's no camera. No, oh. we're going offline. No one's watching. <laughs> Time to go home. Camera's down. Look, I'm leaving, Kai. Oh, milk. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Grandma? Who is it? Who is it? Come on, Kai, you look so handsome down there. Look, I'm taking a photo. I'm even going to look at my photo, make sure everything looks good. I'm looking away, make sure I don't see that poser. I'm going to do a slight angle. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like I see it a little bit. Can I have... Um, an apple box, I want to get, yeah, I feel like I see it. I want to get a little higher. What's up, Kai? Come on, dude, I'm going higher. I really want to fix this face, too, but let me see if I can just change my angle. You want to get higher, an apple? I want to get higher. Alex, where is that? Oh, look, we're not even paying attention to you. We're just not. This much higher? No. No, that's good. Okay. 
Come on, Kai. Are you all the way under the bottom of the covers? Like, are you on the posing blanket or are you on the first layer? The posing blanket? Uh, what do you mean? Like, are you under all these blankets? Yes. Yeah. It's okay. I'm going to kind of perfect the pose a little bit. Okay. I like this better. You need a smaller pose? No, 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 no. I like that better. Hold on. Oh, that's way better. Amber, yeah. uh, Alex, can I have your hand for a minute? One of the things I like to do when I'm really trying to get the right angle is is I'll lean over but I need Alex's hand to just there it is because that's the angle that I wanted okay I'm coming on the arm uh Amber can yep. you raise the light a little bit yep a little harsh shadow there right there okay, the only thing bugging me is that hand Alright Kai, this is the last shot. <laughs> then we're going to the bed and you're all done. Here, wait, let me try one. This is the last chance. Let me try this. Okay. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. 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 No. I'm loving you. It's Sorry. okay. He's like, nope. But that was very cute, nonetheless. <laughs> I like the photo a lot. Do you like it, Mom and Dad? Yeah. Very cute, right? It's very cute. Okay, we'll take the branch away. I'm gonna finish down here on this bed. Uh, this backdrop that I'm using that's on the floor, you'll see in a minute, is from Madras Props in India. I am going back to India in September after Dubai. Alex, we're going to this floor. Yeah, uh, real quick. Yes. Well, maybe not quick, I'm not sure. Uh, Rose Byers asked, can you explain exactly what settings are for focusing? I have the same camera, but don't think I'm setting it up right. Okay, so I want you to look. Can you show them this, Alex? Okay, so I'm using nine point focus. Here, can you see him? Mm -hmm. So I don't use single point focus because I find it's too hard on single point to focus on just the baby's eye it's so tiny so does your camera look like this if not ask Alex all right all right I'm gonna finish with this bed setup now those of you lighting wise if you notice the edge of the light is just above the edge of the beanbag. The higher the light, the less shadow. The lower the light, more shadow. If the light is all the way down, you'll get split lighting because the light will wrap around. So we lift the light higher and we want just a little shadow here. The degree of the shadow is completely up to you. I say all the time, light is subjective. What is it that you want to achieve or portray in your images? And then you adjust the light from there. And okay. I'll explain more about the focus in a second. All right, so I'm gonna finish off with the bed set up, what I love about this is I can just put them in a nice double wrap, get them in the bed, it's like a two minute shot. Um, it'll go right here. I guess I'll go, I don't know where I'm going. I'll go wrap over there. Backdrop is from Lutcher's Cups. So I do have a sack wrap here. So as a sack wrap, I'll just do the same thing as I started, but I'll do it with his hands out. And then I have a little wrap for him. The light will just come down a little bit more. And then mom and dad, when we do froggy, we're doing naked, yeah? So I'll just give him back to you in the diaper while I wrap him up and just make sure he's nice to sleep. We'll pick a blanket, we'll go offline and I'll do that. Okay, so. Mom and Dad want Froggy, but I'm not going to do it live on YouTube. <clears throat> Can I just have my drink real quick? So those that, whoever asked, thank you, with the focusing, did that help? A lot of people like to do 
single point focusing. I don't know why. I cannot handle single point focusing. All right, so when I swaddle with the hands out, I'm using the sack wrap. I'll just put the hands on top, tuck in around the shoulder. Almost done, dear. I'm doing very well. That little branch was perfect. Okay. Now that I'm thinking with AI, I could add a little jungle background. I'm gonna explain the focus. Okay. Uh, so on your camera, I'd recommend switching over to AF. S, or sorry, uh, AFC, which is autofocus continuous, so that it's continuing to focus the entire time. Um, and, and select a group of points, um, depending on your camera. You see you have the same camera, so it'll be, you can switch to a group of nine points, it depends on where the points are, sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's less. Um, that way you have a smaller selection of points versus using all the points. Because the camera will always focus to whatever's closest to the camera. So you want to have a smaller group should be on the of side. points so that it's more precise on where you want to focus. If you do single point, uh, you have to be very be precise careful. with that point. Otherwise, that it's going to focus hanging? wrong. And if you are doing back button focus, like a tan make sure you are a continuously hat. holding that button until you take the shot. Because uh, too many people kind of press it and let go. Uh, but you should be holding that the entire time. on that green branch. I was thinking it would be super cool if there was a very faint, yes, yeah. Yeah, if there was a very faint jungle theme background, like very subtle, right, in the print. So those of you, right? So those of you in my AI class, I did another video on my YouTube channel on AI. If you don't know what it is, I've done two videos now in the past 24 hours explaining AI. Explaining that the way I like to use it is just for added enhancements to an image. It's not taking away from your work. It's not creating work for you. I'm just gonna wipe for his face. Just a wipe. Oh, look. It's like, what if I wanted a jungle print on a backdrop? It would take me a hundred years to find one. So in Etsy and you're looking for overlays, it just might take you forever. And then do you really want something every other person has? That's the thing with trends. You have to be careful with trends because sometimes something will be trending in the newborn industry or any industry. And so you'll see something and you want that exact whatever, that exact background, that exact dress, that exact whatever. I look at something and I draw inspiration from it. And I'll go, ooh, I really love that concept, idea, how can I make it my own? Because if we're doing the same thing everybody else is doing, how, what does that separate you from anybody else? I've said a million times, if you're $200 and someone else is $100 and they're doing the exact same thing you're doing as the client, who are you gonna go with? You're gonna go with the $100 person because it's the same as the $200 person. There's no difference. Your job is to, I think with newborn, if I could give you any advice, is learn your lighting and learn your camera. Bar none first. Learn how to work with babies, be safe. And then draw inspiration from what's around you, but make it your own. That's why I love AI. You can see in the video that I posted today, you can put in any prompt you want, get variations from the prompt, um, and make it whatever you want. An overlay, a backdrop, a mermaid tail, whatever. And no one else has it but you. That's what's so cool. So if you're not in our AI community, you should. You should be. Because we do a challenge every week and we'll do a theme. And what I love about it is everybody comes back with a different result. And we draw so much inspiration from each other. It's so fun. So we're working, gonna work on an AI magazine to feature the best AI work from photographers. It'll be even more 
more exposure because then if there's a client looking for creatives, they'll be able to see who's in our magazine. So he's all nice and content. So this wrap just matches the, the cover. a duplicate of this wrap in the if you look in the cubbies one two three third over top row on the left maybe it's less wrinkled uh to the right one two three uh left one one more one more left corner left that's your right yeah your other left Sorry. sound like my pregnant clients your other left your other You know when you're doing a pregnancy session, you're like, but you're left, they've been right. Like, no, the other left. Maybe it's this one. I have like double of everything, only because I there was a time where twins, I would do so many twins. I'm just like, I'm just gonna have double of everything. Now I feel like I just do it because they're one gets soiled. <laughs> yeah. One gets soiled, you have another one. You don't get to laundry, you've got extra. All right, so we're gonna end with this. So if you have any questions, now would be the time to ask. I'd love to spend the day with you, but I gotta go do my mom duties. Always a challenge to be a mom and a business owner. But it's definitely worked out. Ava says to me this morning, she's like, Mom, I want you to take photos of the kids and I want you to take photos of me. But most importantly, I just want you there. Oh. I was like, oh, you just know how to get me. <laughs> She'll say that to me all the time. I just, I just need you, Mom. Because she's, she's learning to differentiate between when she wants something and then she's like, I just need my mom. She'll just say that to me. I just need you <laughs> sitting by my side. I don't have to have you there, but I would like you there. And I was like, oh. Do you like that hair or you want different hair? No, I love it. I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. I was just being super anal with these things. Nice. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> so, we'll tuck them in. I was trying to decide. Do I want them out? No, I love it. Don't you like it? I, I do. I just didn't know if you were having too many problems with it. No, it's just the strings. I was like, <laughs> you should just tell me Anna stop and take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I have clients look at me and they're like, you're a Virgo, aren't you? Because I'm, like, I'm still fuss, fuddling, fussing, fuddling, fussing with the same thing. Oh. I mean, really, every picture is going to be perfect for the sky. So you can kind of raise that yep. light. Do you see that shadow? Yep. I'm coming back already for you. Right there. Might be too high. Come down a little bit. Right there. A little higher. You know what? Wait, wait. Maybe I bring, you're fine. I think I'm going to bring him in a little closer. And then, him. and then I think I want to tuck the material under. Hello. So cute. All right, all I'm gonna do is perfect it a little bit. I'm just gonna tuck these under because I couldn't, I couldn't decide if it was distracting me or not. I always say, look at your picture real quickly before you finish it. Don't do the whole "I'm gonna fix it in Photoshop." Something super tiny, minor that will bug you later could cost you like 15 minutes of editing. You don't want that kind of time. So I'm just trying to look for 98% accuracy out of my camera. So there's as little editing as possible. I do do soft proofing, so when a client sees the gallery, they're not edited yet, and then they choose their images, and then we edit. So when they're looking at these images, I want them as close to perfection as possible so they don't have to imagine too much. Love this backdrop. <laughs> I'll do a little side angle. So cute, I cannot. Okay, so hopefully that helped. Um, he is done with his online portion. Whoa. I'm not gonna fall to you. Uh, never have. 
I've fallen off my own feet, not a yoga ball. <laughs> I'll trip over my own two feet. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe because we try to go live every month. The schedule is on AnnaBryantLive.com where you can watch future episodes. We've got a lot of requests for family posing, children posing, all sorts of things. So we will, I don't know what I'll do next month. I kind of just like to wait and see the babies that come in. And I love to pick my clients' babies because I feel like I already know them. If they've had a good session, it's like bonus round. So I don't usually bring models in for this um, because that way I feel like it's just a good bonus and a gift back to my clients who spend their hard-earned money supporting my studio. So for those of you that follow me, attend the workshops, that are in all the millions of programs that I have, thank you as always for your support. Do check out the AI videos that I posted recently because I think it'll literally change your life if you learn how to properly use it. Above all, never give up, keep going, because if this is what you love to do, you just spend a lifelong journey doing it. We're not perfect, we're just trying to do the best job we can. Thank you for watching.